Hello and welcome back to Cut Buds with Narf. No, I didn't almost say it. It's good. We're good now. Yeah, you got it out of your system. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We've 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 done almost sixty videos now. So like, I've been recording more Cud Buds than actual Caves of Cud. Ugh, I still haven't seen Moonstair content. Have the people <laughs> been liking it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a hit. I think. Cool. It's it's a you know honestly it's I've easier to it. ways. The episodes I've caught have been pretty fun. I appreciate that. All I, uh, it's easier to, you know, like talk to someone, although, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Galen, I, I, I do laugh sometimes while I'm editing the videos, and it's just like me the entire time. <laughs> and, then, and like, it's just like the other track is completely silent. But I, I uh, appreciate it. Uh, Galen, it concentrates hard on the game. And I, I appreciate that from him. I don't um, know if you caught what I just did there, but you it might went, not be what you normally do. You went straight to kick Yukia. I did. Uh, I don't normally do this. Why is this a thing? Uh, in a second. Oh, we're not we're not gonna kill Indrix, are we? No. We found a goatful vi village along the way because of our uh, pickup of jungle wilderness lore there. Okay, but. I always take jungle wilderness. I just wanna <laughs> listen. Hated by Ooh, mysterious hated strangers. Hated by mysterious strangers. Need to do it though. What are we learning? Cooking? Oh, right. We can learn cooking and gathering for free. Oh, I have never done this. This is something I will have to do now. Also, just because we can. Yeah. Also, yeah. Also, oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Also, yeah. Oh my uh, god. That, that's a good RNG. I mean, you get an advertisement. He's guaranteed to have an advertisement. I, I swear to God, I'm not just like um, like advertising the other series, but I was like so blown away. Um, Galen found like a, a workshop. It was a boot maker. It was just a shoemaker nice. workshop. Yeah. But the surface had four so many or pairs of shoes. Yeah. No, no, no. It was like it was like a, a separate six day stilt. It was like five chefs, uh, a guts monger, a what? gem cutter. It was like, like it was a clan of yeah. workshop dudes. Nice. It was like, uh, oh, I don't think is... I've ever seen that. Maybe I know it's... it's possible now. It's like they were a layer to a, a legendary merchant as opposed yeah. to a workshop. It's like, this is, this is unheard of. I think, I can't remember. I know we bought something that I think that's where we got crystal hand bones because the gutsmonger just had them all kinds of, all right. Well, what are we preserving? Uh, I just preserved the, uh, we're going to do a Hulk honey too, but uh, yeah. actually might as well do the skulk. I was just taking a look through what I could preserve there. Uh, we might as well steal their water, which we do so quickly you don't even notice. Uh, <laughs> want to see me steal Kekyuka's entire water supply? Or yeah. see me do it again? Oops, not Crow Song. That's a different blazer. Uh, small tube. stone. Yeah, we might as well. I feel 40 like... weight strange tubes. What is that? That's going to that be... a grenade launcher? Yeah, that's going to be launcher. Or... Honestly, I think the grenade launcher, uh, maybe maybe I shouldn't know this, but I think the grenade launcher is closer to like the... F the 25s? Yeah, yeah, the 25. I agree. Ooh. But also like cost-wise, it's usually... Can we afford that though? Man. <laughs> I I would never abide buying a floating glow 600. It's a ripoff. Oh, oh Ural's ripping you off. I mean, we'll find one, I suppose, but we don't even have a regular glow sphere. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Why don't we get one? Doesn't the caver corpse usually spawn with one? No. Uh, he has the miner's helmet. Right. That's what I thought. That's right. We got money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Why Why does Cud have ripe cucumber? Why is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Where's the Where's the friendly neighborhood chair? Lomenza? No, that's... Uh, Klein? Maybe it is? Nope. No, that's a bed. Does Yurl not have a chair? I mean, it would make sense. No, he has a bench. Classic sitting on a chair so we have better odds of examining things. These caves of cud stuff. I, you have disassembling, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. We, we would probably go through all of your scrap before we leave the village. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I really uh, need to. All right. Oh, they just have a random laser turret. Yeah, Kayukia defense, I guess. Uh, that's probably a, might be Crowsong also. No, it's oh. just a random laser turret. And a Gershling hired guard. I booted up the. Slumber. Worshipper of a Barakur. What is going on in this hut? This is a very well guarded hut. This is hut. the sleeping room. The sleeping laser room. I, um, oh yeah, I booted up Cud to show a friend. I, I've recently converted someone else to this game. And I randomly found 
like underground um like under jopa there was a, a primordial ooze and i was like what the hell are you doing here and it was a snapjaw with a ooze <laughs> disguise nice. and then i was just from then on roaming around looking like an ooze we found two little sites that we could go back to uh this uh oh Ooh. that's not good nice i never feel bad about uh, abusing the edge of the map when it comes to this novice of the sightless way uh, to be honest, in that situation, I probably could have killed him by sprinting and charging right. before he got me. But it's best to not take the risk, especially this low in a level. Yeah, dude. Wow. Very bloodthirsty uh, scavenger. Oh, God. Okay, well, he's right there. Okay. All right. That was a ruin. Uh, Oobamore. Oh, we're lost. In the canyons. I've been uh, really appreciating how what good early game XP the Equimax are. They are pretty good XP. I, I feel bad killing anything that isn't aggressive, but like also. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oops. That's that's mm. an oops. How did we no. do that? How did that happen? Uh, just I thought we robbed. Having the... uh, I sold some stuff or I bought some stuff and then forgot to right. sell my uh. Should really explain for, what to... what things what, uh, are happening. Yeah. What, what I was gonna do there was read this thing. Found an oh, that is way. Oh, uh, uh, west. Yeah, it, it it'll probably be in the deep jungle. Oof. But I wanted to sell that so that I uh, had any water. Yeah, got water again. We almost died of starvation, but you know, who hasn't in cud? I think I've only died from thirst uh, deprivation like once, but I have died once i think i was an amphibian so it was like slightly easier we should pay attention a look a read uh uh do do uh glot rot are we planning on getting sick no i'm uh just in case generally i'll probably try to avoid it but i'm i just want to see what the worm corpse is and i can't remember which one it's for now uh snail corpse electric snail corpse so if we see electric snails, we should turn off butchering just in case we want to uh, test fungal infections at some point. I thought we were gonna. I was gonna learn that certain certain diseases actually benefit us. I was. We we're gonna learn well, some disease. Strats. Mumble mouth. I was. I actually don't mind if I can discover which color is mumble mouth. I don't mind collecting funguses on you know places you don't really necessarily need, like arms. I have a, I do have a strat for this now. If I can find like a, um, a legendary in the in the desert with a group of friends, they they become my my fungal garden. Nice. And then I, uh, I know what everything is. Take a look here. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. So this is um our first historic site. Yeah, we're gonna just see what's here. Oh, good. That's not good. We got some feral law. Oh, I saw someone uh, post a picture of their cud run. And it was like a room filled to the brim, like a very large room filled to the brim with turrets and chain guns and yeah, chests. Yeah, I've, I've seen that before. Walk into a room with like three <laughs> rocket launchers pointed at you. A certified grit gate moment. Yeah. That was really good. Turtles still have... Ooh. <laughs> these are some choices. The inclusion of a feral law is really adding... Yeah. Okay. Is really adding to the spice of this oh, place. Oh, come on. What was that? You take out your eye, Uri shrugged Kant from the north. <laughs> what was that? That's, uh, I think, a book you picked up just now. Oh, book titles? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, your out eye. Out your eye, Uri shrugged Kant. Kant. <laughs> Shrug. Shrug. Desperately want to know from what text that is pulling that from. Well, it's only, like, the, the auto... The thing is, is, it's, like, two words in a row is, like all it pulls from anything usually though it has it has a better chance of continuing more words from the same corpus than rolling a new connection word but i don't know if you know how markov chains work but i could go a little geeky about it go for it what's a markov chain all right so it's a technique used to generate a lot of text and cud not all of it there's other things we're gonna just uh, set our checkpoint here because we're using the campfire checkpoint mod we might as well since we have cleared the top floor and this place does have turrets uh so markov uh is a 
you basically store a graph. You read through some body of text, and in this case, uh, a la the corpus is what that is called. Uh, and you write down every two words. Like, if the text said, you know, it was a lovely day. So you get, it was, was a, a lovely, lovely day. Right? Right. And then you store these chains, and you store each of the connections, and then kind of like, through that, you can then start with a word like, it. And be like, what connects to it? And you could be like, was, you know, blah, blah, blah. And like... It uses that kind of, like, you chain words together. Oh, okay. And usually you can do it with, like, two words is the, like, it prefixes two words for the search, and then it stores them in groups of three, you know, just to make it more natural English, because a lot of times, like, otherwise, like, you know, the the order of, like, nouns and verbs and et cetera get all messed up. So there's a lot of different things that CUD does with this sort of technology, where it basically is generating a chain of possible follow-ons from the last couple things it said. And that's how most of the random text from the books is created. Huh. It was kind of a boil-over. I'm sure someone in the comments will post a well actually about it, and I'll be happy to read it, because they'll probably be right. Ixermost the Second, though. Deep in the wilds of the Nomad's District of Shakapur, Ixermost the Second discovered Tech Grotto. There she befriended water barons and fought for everlasting glory. Oh, and also some Russia floor, which you can learn by playing Caves of Cut. <laughs> kind of. Oh, is that just a musket? That yeah. one sounded a bit different. I mean, they've all been musket turrets. Very book rich. Yeah, we definitely have found our first source of books. This is a new idea for a uh, tabletop RPG. We're, a lot of people are bringing back the idea of instead of having XP rewards for um, killing monsters. Instead, you gain XP based on uh, how much gold you escape with. Yeah. So uh, uh, here's a here's a, your Caves of Cud mod is um, you only gain XP oh, for how, man. Ma how many books you, you leave a, a ruin with. This ruin has an XP printer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clockwork beetles are finite now. I don't I don't know who's responsible for that, but thank you. Also, they I think get, a bunch of people. It's a lot of XP you're getting from that. Yep. If it was infinite, would you just get infinite XP, or is it, like, diminishing returns? Oh, well, eventually, the... As every five levels you go in CUD, you you reach a new tier, and as you gain a higher tier, uh, monsters of lower tiers become worth less XP. I'm assuming um, shoot crabs are, are forever fine, uh, infinite. Shoot crabs forever. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> there is also a mod that does that. I guess um, for exactly things like this, where you can you know, you have like an infinite number of enemies, although clock clock well, beetles have been nerfed. This is hilarious. What is happening? Uh, one of these things, probably this. Yeah, Auto Explorer really wanted to do something with that item, but then once it got there, it didn't remember what it wanted to do with it, so <laughs> then it started exploring. But then when it stepped away, it's like, wait, I want to do something with that item. Very, Very cap. cap atop of the hulking pyramids. <laughs> the Moon King wrote that one. <laughs> Ixermost the Fourth, throughout the entirety of 3540 before Russia, Ixermost the Fourth laid waste to all of Mipper, conducting midnight raids on the villages of bears and antelopes. He became known as the Mipper Terror. Wasn't like Mipper his predecessors? Uh, no, I feel like, like they... he just really hated his parents. <laughs> oh, I feel like Mipir wasn't founded. It was like a place that the previous one went to, and then they uh, got in a war. Yeah, or something. yeah, or lost their pr prized, uh, you know, oh, dr right, yeah. drinks on a on a happy chair. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> drinks a cold beer on a summer's day. They oh, lost their prize. We finally, we have finally gotten to the point where we're overloaded. Oh, heck so yeah. I get to show off unencumbered. Uh, which is another one of my mods. Uh, it gives you that little drop weight ability that I have bound to backslash down there. Uh, so it pops up like the most lowest value, highest weight ratioed items in your inventory in order, and then asks you what you want to do with them. Uh, in this case, I would like to treat these as scrap and disassemble. And you, then, got, uh, again, you got the, 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 the tile artist to do a, a legit tile for it. 
Yeah, it's one of the things that I just kind of testing because I've been adding. Oh my god! I think we just blew up some books though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the books fell to the ground, and the books are why we're running out of room so fast. All right, so we'll examine. Oh, this is a freezing metal metal folding chair. Give him the chair. Yeah. I keep the, thinking about like you know like a wrestling maneuver. The rock is frozen solid. Yeah. All right. We're keeping a pickaxe. We're keeping the data disc. Uh, a painted metal folding chair. Sure, we. Uh, I'm sure we've looked at that, but. Yes. Uh, interact disassemble. Interact disassemble. This is why I said it doesn't really matter if we. Oh, why am I? Wait a minute. Didn't we? Didn't we get a a book called Out Your Eye? Ooh. We did. And we just got a pad without the eye. Oh, interesting. 15 pounds. Oh. Yeah. The chromeling woven was put all, all things, things to say. All things to say. Circumstances like simple particles green which appear upon earth gas and other places sometimes appears then continue as you have. Uh, this, is a, this is a veritable library. Yeah. Mark to keep. Uh, we'll keep torches for now. Grid lines and a dodge. People who had communally. Ah. In a remote workshop, Erxamath III met with a group of jewelers and commissioned a bracelet that evoked the presence of a faithful six-sided eye. Uh, he named it the Flame of Six-Sided. I suppose it's a good thing that books can't be painted or engraved, huh? Never thought of this, to be honest. The tumbling pond well, gains a level. Uh, it worked out exactly how I hoped it would, too. The musket <laughs> shot the tumbling pond, which killed the musket. Uh, that was perfect. Yeah. Uh, welcome to uh, Nerf. This assembles a bunch of things. The stream. We're not even. We're not even at the bottom of this. Oh. <laughs> water. Oh, water this time. Oh yeah, you are carrying yeah. quite a lot of water. It's a map. The fourth, deep in the wilds of Trash, the fourth stumbled upon a clan of birds, performing a secret ritual because of his rhythmic eyes. They accepted <laughs> him into their fold and taught him their secrets. My brand. I have special rhythmic eyes. Ah, the spider tried valiantly. Ixermop the third at a remote academy in Mipir. Ixermop the third met with a group of scholars and he commissioned a treatise that evoked the presence of a cursed one sided eye. He named it One Sidicus. <laughs> they are obsessed with uh, dice in this, uh, this Ixermosp family. Uh, some things in the way. I guess I can't put a. Uh... Oh, actually, you know what? We have some skill points. We should do this. Carbide chef time? Yeah. Oh, you don't get inspired for taking it? Nope. Where are these tumbling? I guess these tumbling pods are. There's, there's no feral laws. But They're literally. Yeah, just, it's just, it's just the pods. Yeah, I've seen that happen before too. Cult and fanatic tumbling pods. It just means there's a lot of them. But I guess the but good news is that you don't have to. They're play really the, easy to deal with. You don't have to play the exploration or like looking, uh, you know, game of trying to find where the feral po pod is. Yeah. Or law. You must be hitting the limits of what you can get rid of at this point. Really. I mean, I, I'm I'm prepared to be wrong. We'll see. You're carrying a lot of books, and I think this is this is still not the final floor. All right? Can't wait to find out how many pounds of books we've got. A lot. <laughs> Too many is the answer. Uh, and we can't even deal with the dreadroot tubers right now. I suppose you can ignore those. I was hoping I might have some food. Yeah, just. Uh. Just two pounds at a time, dealing with our inventory problems. <laughs> ignore will make you. Jeez, we had so many kudzu stems. Oh, uh, hold on. Draw. Uh, the Kessel face. <laughs> what about the Kessel face? Why uh, would you, why would you draw that just now? <laughs> why would I draw a Kessel face? Yeah, why would you draw the what, Kessel what, face? What random item would you want? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Wait, what? You don't know about nano crayons? No. So one in a thousand box of crayons is a nano crayon. Which grants your wish when you draw it. I I believe you, but that is ridiculous. One in a thousand. So is it a one in a thousand chance? Yeah. So you have to sit there drawing Kessel face. Okay, yeah, we are basically at the limit of 114, 114 pounds books. of books. Jeez. Yeah. Why are we keeping 32 pounds of kudzu? Uh, It sells pretty well, but I think I might drop it. Let's at least get rid of, I don't know, that many until we fill ourselves up again on books still not at the end of this now we might have to go second trip drop, drop some books off in a box somewhere oh that's right you're gonna be um following strict rule of uh don't donate your box until later 
I generally do. It's Especially in roleplay mode, I think it'll make more sense. Because, like, you know you get to use it. That's true, yeah. That's, um... My biggest fear is always dying before I use my box of books. Yeah. Because then it's like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have saved my books so long. Do you also... I got greedy. ...wait on the Russia floor? I generally do, yeah. Though I don't hold out as long on the Russia floor. I kind of use it if I want to. Also, I've had this conversation a couple times with a few different people, but, uh... On my stream as well, when I do stream over on Twitch occasionally, um, is that, like, oh, I'm going to lose it. The thought, I can feel it slipping away. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. You have you have uh, literally asked me or answered me the question of, like, why do you, do you keep books around and then donate them later um, on stream? Yeah, but with the, uh, like, the timing of that, that's what I was going to talk about was, oh, man. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Silver Nugget is coming up. <laughs> okay, how many chem cells do we have? We only have the one chem cell, and I think we need it to get out of here because I don't think any of our recoilers have a cell. So time to, time we're to... just gonna we're just gonna load this thing up and turn it on. Ah, uh, there's hostels nearby. We're still carrying too much to move. All right. No, it's telling uh, you books. When it's telling you books to drop. Yeah. That's that's what it's. We can drop the. Yeah, we can drop three kudzu stem, and then we can move. I wonder what kudzu tastes like. And can we recoil? And also, I don't know if you heard my dog barking at me there, but we are being demanded to let somebody outside. So for now, we're just gonna borrow our guy's box here that we were already. Oh no! Don't take all store. Just take the box. Yeah, but then it's still in your inventory. Yeah, but then we go to six days still, and then you can drop it off for real, and then you don't have to do this. I can just pick up the box later, though. Oh, I suppose that's true. Yeah, still no Jasper. No Jasper. Very cap of the pyramid. <laughs> that's the subtitle for this episode. All right. Well, if you at home you are enjoying <laughs> the uh, series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more of this. We'll see you next time. Very atop the hulking pyramids. No, it's very cap atop. <laughs> very cap atop the hulking pyramid.